They can't fight you more uh, than one. Actually, they can, but it's really rare. He's right there. Let's see. What? No, I meant like multiple enemies at oh. once. You can get two Chompasaurs to fight you at once, but that is rare. That is very rare. But they're rare. so big. How would they fit on the screen? Oh, it's actually really funny. Yeah. Uh, I put it on the screen, but I don't know how. Because uh, I, well, it's not that I don't know how, it's that I use Movie Maker, which is even worse, admittedly. Yeah. Um, uh, sure, you can take the damage, right? Nah. Um, but they're, they're mostly overlapping, and oh. it, it looks pretty funny. Sorry, I was really focused on deciding what to do. Also, I do want to fight as many Chompasaurs as possible because, you know, no! we can get the magic fry pan. I expected that. It's okay. Jeff, Jeff's a big boy. He can handle it. He's not dead. <gasps> uh oh. Uh, this isn't good. All Wait, right. how much HP does Paula normally have? What's her base? Uh, how much HP? I don't know. I don't remember at all. Uh -huh. All right. If this doesn't kill him. Yay! It did. Okay. All that planning for nothing. That's okay. We can use the... So we already tried the... What was it? The, the spicy jerky and it fully healed somebody when they were they were. Yeah, it was Paula. Was she even yeah. used it, the hot sauce on it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I understand that they don't dry gourmet jerky in a laundry line. When eaten, you recover about 300 HP. You need to save that for Ness. You, I'm sorry you didn't get to read that, but I already started not reading it. So it's I did read it. Oh, well, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Okay. It's a really, really good item, but we're good. Why didn't that dinosaur kill us? Well, I don't know. Us. They're kind of dumb. Oh, the... T Hello. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's see what That's the ego the orb moon. can do. Yeah, I always thought he looked like a big. A trip I, to the moon. Now he just looks like a potato to me. Okay. Don't I don't want to talk about a trip to the moon. Oh, we'll get into that in a second, I guess. Oh. What he do? He just did a lot of damage. Uh, okay. He's trying to boost his ego. We try and boost ours. That does not work when people are trying to. That's right. Classic psychology lesson. I'm not sure. But uh, I, I always thought he looked kind of like a moon pie. But now he the just looks like a he just looks like a russet ones. potato. Are there banana flavored moon cones? Yeah, my grandpa loves them. They're so nasty. Oh, they're my so mom gross. loves banana twins, which are little Debbie cakes. Ew! I don't like artificial Bro banana. Flavored. My God, ego orb! Oh, he sees there's a monster right next to us. You guys smell really good. Why do we smell good? To <gasps> because of the tinder's crowd, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Who am I? I'm a tinder. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have spoiled it, but yeah, they are tinder. So I guess you aren't supposed to realize what they are. Hey, what are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? What? I'm going to open the door and you get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I will let you out. Thank you for the tentacrout. Ness's tentacrout was stolen. <laughs> as if we didn't want to give it away. The awful smell surrounding the group is now gone. You don't realize that it smells unless you try to use it, which mm -hmm. I think is pretty funny. Because I was like, oh, I didn't know he smelled awfully. But I like how he opens the gate as a monster mm -hmm. is approaching us. Why don't you see the talkative mystery rock? That rock really jabbers away. Oh, I see him. Even though I listen to the talkative mystery rock story, I don't understand what he's talking about. He talk, really talks about us. Thank you for coming all the way into this primitive country. I don't feel well. Uh, there's a reason you don't want to stay here at the inn. Please come again, Mr. Traveler. Okay, so I saved in all that good stuff. Now I'll show you the reason you don't want to stay at the inn. We made a cage for dinosaurs and locked them up. That's what my brother tells me. But I don't believe it. He's just spewing out of his cake hole. <laughs> you finally came, Ness. Oh, because he, he heals you. you. Yes. So everybody makes the mistake of spending the money and wasting the time in the inn. It's I'm good, sorry. I guess, if you want Jeff to fix stuff. What? I'm sorry if you can hear me chewing. That's okay. Finally, you talk to me. Listen, Ness. I'm going to tell you something very important. Listen up, guys. You may want to take notes. Ready? You're the chosen one. <gasps> That's my favorite trope. The chosen one. 
This it's actually why this game is my least favorite because that's pretty much the whole plot. It's all about destiny. I love the chosen destiny. one tropes. Least favorite plot out of the three games. I mean, I don't like chosen one tropes unless they're done in a way yeah. like Zelda does them. Or Harry Potter. That was a chosen one trope. Yeah, Harry Potter is, but it's done a little differently. Zelda's also done differently because it's about. Is that my phone? Basically reincarnation. I, it's kind of interesting. What is? Zelda. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because it's always a different link, you know. Yeah. Well, not always. Okay, we, your destiny is not only yours. It's the destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. Stop it! It's not necessary to understand now. Do you remember Giant Step in Onet? That is one of your sanctuary. It is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize all your skills. There was a monster that protected it. The monster was influenced by the power of the place. What's the place? The, your sanctuary location, because oh. they're extremely powerful. Oh, yeah? You must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all of the eight power spots in the world. When the soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots, you can finally see your world. Mm. I'll tell you all of the power spots. So this is great if you miss some, mm. which is possible. Number I one, him giant me step in on that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can't miss giant step. Yeah. Lilliput steps in peaceful rest valley near Tucson. You can completely miss that one, like up to this point. Three, Milky Well and Grapefruit Falls in Saturn Valley. You can miss that one too, even though I don't know how you could, unless you did it on purpose. Four, Rainy Circle found by Jeff in Winters. Can't miss that one. Five, Magnet Hill at the edge of the city of Forside. You can miss it. You can miss Pink Cloud, which Pooh knows. I love that description. It doesn't, it, it's a nice vague hint, in case you don't know what to do with the carrot key. And Lumine Hole. Uh, there's but it said a, wall earlier. Hall, yeah, it, there's a big discrepancy whether it's Lumine Hall or Lumine Hole. Oh, okay. It's one of the two. Whatever the soundstone says is whichever one I'll take, which I think says Hall. Uh, where the Shining Lichen, I think that's how you pronounce it, lives Lichen, in the cave. Or Lichen. But now we know what lit up the wall. Eight. A new place means. is now going to be opened up to you. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. Listen to the melodies of all eight power spots. If you do not fail, you may upset Gygus's plans. Understand, Ness? If, oh, the okay. time will come. The time when the destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap. It is fast approaching. Don't talk to him again. It's a horrible mistake. <laughs> Talk to the other two. So, yeah. Wow. We actually did learn something new. Most of that was a recap, but that is there in case you missed the power spots. He's like the guitar player in Magic Ant in the first game who you're likely to never remember to go back to. Oh, Tendo, okay. who liked to talk, came to the Lost Underworld because we could, couldn't stand the quiet up above. So we established a separate tribe. I hope we can be friendly again someday. Yeah. It was a lot easier to live up above. Well, they can't because they're not shy anymore. I know. I love you it. But they don't know that yet. Let's play yeah. store. My friend Ego loves this game. So, hi, may I help you? Are you looking for anything in particular? Whoa! Hell yes, I am. It's only three it's not even three thousand dollars. That's the ultimate bad, alright. Like the ultimate creation, Crombius. That's right, baby. A la holy fry pan. Oh, it's funny because she prays. Oh, yeah. She is religious, just like Anna in the first game. She is? I mean, she's praying. I mean, pretty Anna. religious. Oh, because Anna's father is a priest. Oh, I don't So know. Anna is presumably religious. We uh, have enough money. We don't damn. have enough money. That's we only need to... Oh, wait. We can sell. Normally, what I do is teleport out. Teleporting... I don't think it takes you here. I think it takes you a little farther back. Uh-huh. Uh, than the actual village. I think it takes you closer to the center of the whole Lost Underworld. We're actually close to the end of it. There are it. so many tendos and there's only two houses. <laughs> <laughs> With no doors. Yeah. Well, the doors might be in the back. Yeah, good point. Good point. Uh, what do we sell? What do we sell? Uh, we can sell the rabbit's yeah, foot. Yeah, the rabbit's foot. I'm authorized to pay up to $900 for that. <laughs> sure. I, th I, I remember equipping that. 
What? You still can't buy it. Oh, sir, it appears you do not have the money necessary for this transaction. <laughs> He's saying this a tenda? Yeah, the tenda. Sell. I always imagine this tenda is female. The eraser, eraser. Do you need that again? You can't sell it. And oh. yes, I'm keeping it for a while. Okay. You don't need it, but sell the. You know, it's just it feels wrong. Pendant. Do you need that? Oh, uh, no. We're not gonna use it. Oh! Now I have enough money for it! Yep. I don't think we have anything else to sell. I don't imagine why we would have something in Pooh's inventory we need to sell. Uh, this was for Jeff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please, buy my charm coin. Uh, let's check, though. No. You can sell the Viper. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Two, 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 two. All right, great. Bye, bye. Let's play again sometime. <laughs> she just happened to have a nice, excellent stock of ultimate bats and such. Uh, oh. Best store in the game, and it's only a, you know, <laughs> a game. Didn't you think that the Tenda up above have some particularly beautiful women? They're still shy though. Do they have like a different sprite for women and men? No. <laughs> we are the same tenda as those above ground. We seem different. Yeah, you know, the tenda up there are shy and don't like to talk. What? Not anymore. Don't feed the dinosaurs in the cage. The boss. What dinosaurs? <laughs> the ones we've been fighting and That's killing. That's a cage? The joke is... That they're that, in the cage? Yeah, the tenda yeah. are actually in the cage, but the boss yeah. is lying to them okay. and making them feel better. Is the boss a tenda? Yeah. That was the one that let us in. Oh, okay. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I'm a worldwide Tinda. I was an exchange student who traveled to a country that is known as an economic superpower. Uh, presumably Eagle Land. Okay, or that makes sense. the only superpowers uh, in the 90s were like... Ego style? I don't think Japan don't was classified it. as a superpower. Maybe China. I don't get Ego there, I don't think there's a joke. My name is Ego Stike or Stike. I always call him Stike. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Shall I loan you some money? No, he's exactly like the, the uh, guy that yeah, the guy with out. the handling. Yeah. Thing. I don't feel strange about it at all. Please ask me anytime. To be fair, though, it really doesn't matter because we're at the end of the game. There's a tenda up there. Ah, uh, we need the tenda. Right, this ego orb still hasn't despawned. The what? He's just, oh yeah. He's just been waiting for us the whole time. Let's not give him the satisfaction and go. Uh, yeah, I knew he was gonna fight us. All right, well, let's kill him. Why not? I do want to conserve our PP because that is the last healing point before the fire spring. Uh, but he does a lot of damage. You know what? You know, no, we have a lot of magic truffles. But I will save the PP for it. Okay. You're gonna miss. It's not gonna work out. Oh, it didn't matter. That was anymore. really easy. <laughs> okay, I overthought the whole thing. But I'm just gonna save it for life up for now until we actually get in a dungeon. Unless... What does the ego orb look after it dies? Ooh, I don't want to imagine. That's does it like it crumble? Does, okay? does it shatter? Does it explode? What the heck? A chubby, obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heartrending. So I'm healing my wounds in the hot spring. Buddy, you are like not close to the hot spring. <laughs> it's right there. Where? Oh, the I The geyser. I think oh, I, at least looks... I've always assumed he meant the geyser. Can you actually go through here? Or do you get stuck? Because like I said, this place was not programmed that well. He just missed it. Uh, sugar... Oh, that's the red one. That's the only red one. That's the one that heals uh, status ailments. Oh. No. The beast. Uh, I'd Are love to fight some chomp. Uh, we're not going to make it. Oh, wait. There was no point in coming over here this way. <laughs> Paula is now level 64. Beautiful, beautiful. That was a good level up. Finally, we got Fire Omega. Uh, that will not be very useful in the Fire Spring, I hate to say. <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. All right. Is this it? Is this it? What? Why is my face hurting? Oh. There it is. I got a pen. Or maybe not.
I can't get enough of this song. I to can't be either. Honest. I didn't like even want to talk for that. How do we get over? We I will go ahead and tell you. We have reached the end of the earth. We have been everywhere. Really? Yep. So that's why they tell you about the lo the sanctuary locations because you're at the end now. Hmm. You got to go back and get them all. That place is known as the Cave of the Past. Although a lot of people I refer to broken, it as the uh, Cave of the Present. I saw a broken, a broken uh, <laughs> ship. The, it looked like our broken spaceship. It did look like the sky Whenever, runner, didn't it? Yeah. There's a cloak of kings. Dude, is that for Pooh? Sure is. Give that dang thing to Pooh. This is always oh. a satisfying feeling. Unless you didn't Why? get the sort of kings. We're you finally so got all four of Pooh's items. We are so awesome right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just feels so good. Oh my god. You just feel so powerful at this point in the game. And I gotta say, Earthbound... Does hey, a... there's extra people. We didn't see those. I know. You can't see them until just now. In case of danger, evacuate here the boss. Here, the dinosaurs don't come and attack me. So I can relax. Except now I can't get out. Why can't he get out? Because he's stuck. Because um... if he gets out, they'll attack him, I guess. But Earthbound does such a good job of keeping things interesting. Every area, there's something just... Even if the enemies are a reskin, those dungeons don't last very long. I think, say, like, the Lumine Hall does not last long at We're all. We're gonna have to fight that. I dude. was just overthinking it. That was my problem. So, I really thought, you know, if you're gonna have reskins in a game, which I think they did on purpose, and to be practical like other RPGs of the time, but I think they did it as Wait, a joke, game? making fun of other RPGs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they use, they use reskinned enemies a lot because they like to reuse Let's their designs on. and it's easy. Huh? Is that an RPG? Yes, Pokemon is an RPG. Uh, Why? But I, Zelda's not? No, an RPG has battles like this. That's what defines an RPG, basically. Not They're always. Based. Yes. That's not... That's not it, but that's But it's the... called role-playing games, so... I mean... Okay, technically, the genre RPG applies to games like this. Technically, every video game is an RPG, an RPG is a role-playing game. So there is a difference. It depends on what you're talking about exactly. Okay, I really don't want to spend that long in this fight. We're going to have to heal Jeff no matter what. Unless you're playing Animal Crossing, then you're just being you. Yeah, but you're playing the role of the character. Nah, you, you. I mean, if D&D, &D, you can make yourself as a character, you'd still be role-playing. You wouldn't say, I'm sitting at a table, I'm not actually... Like, you're not sitting there saying, oh, this isn't real, while you're playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> this is just a game, the whole time you play it. You're immersed in it. You're being the character to the other characters. I decided to actually, like, make my... Island free. <laughs> so, uh, oh, let me let me finish my sorry. thought about Earthbound and how like I, there's just so many tropes in Earthbound. It just feels like it encompasses everything except I'm I'm really surprised honestly. There's no like werewolves or vampires in the game. Well, they're zombies. They so. did zombies really well. I think they did it in such a cartoony '90s Americanized way. Yeah, but there's kind of a little bit of everything. They had dinosaurs. Anything a kid in the 90s would be into is in this game. Robots. Uh, there's Spaceships. A little, yeah, there's a little bit of everything here. And that's what I love. Welcome to the final dungeon, by the way. Dude, that's creepy as hell. The Major Psychic Psycho and the Psychic Psycho. These guys are honestly kind of dangerous. They're just reskins. <laughs> of each other, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of these guys, I believe the Major Psychic Psycho, has a chance of dropping the Star Pendant. The most powerful pendant in the game. So, make of that what you will. We will not be going for that. Like I said, if I ever become a streamer, which I absolutely will if I ever get views. I'm first. <laughs> okay, well you can do that anytime you want. Yeah, we have the equipment. No, we don't. How do we not? I don't love him. Oh, that's the only thing you don't have. But you can stream without a webcam. That's what I would do. I don't want to. 
I would absolutely not use a webcam if I stream. Maybe sometimes for like if I were streaming something like Wii Fit or Ring Fit Adventure. Yeah, that or makes One Two Switch. You know, a game where you need, where that adds to the experience. Otherwise, I don't think it adds to the experience to see my face. Because I'm not a very facially expressive guy. No. My expression comes in my words. Not even my voice. I have a boring monotone voice, so. I want to stream because but, it would incentivize me to play games. <laughs> I'm not even going to check. This goes to Ness. I want to And that's have, a very like, good reason. Part of the reason I do this channel... I'm friends with people that like these games. Because my friends are cool, but like they don't like the same games I like. <laughs> I can't remember... Oh, I can't remember. Like, I want Animal Crossing buddies. And like... No one plays Animal Crossing except for my Ooh. friend's mom. Which is also my friend, but like we don't really talk outside of when I'm at her house. So. Yeah. <laughs> but... As I was going to say, when I stream, I do intend to do an all-purpose run. I know I've said that before, but I'm going to get every item. I think I'm going to add that to the list. I mean, it's going to take like 80 hours to do it, but I really want to... Oh, that reminds me. Sorry. Oh, my God. I freaked out for a second. I'm just checking. Put this on the screen, but I... Uh, if it's not a 1 in 128 chance, if there's nothing on the screen right now, it's a 1 in 128 chance of him dropping the PSI caramel. Dude, I have like no hours in Animal Crossing. I only have 355. <laughs> That's <laughs> more so than I little. Have. Uh, I think we want to go first. I oh, saw one person gosh. in my Discord, not my Discord, but they had over a thousand hours in Animal Crossing. I'm not surprised. Does the Switch even lock that much? Oh yeah, it does, because uh -huh. Drew has watched like 5,000 hours of YouTube and played over 1,000 hours of Smash Brothers. Now I want to see... Which I think is insane. My... Does it show your top or like the last played thing first? Last played thing first. Okay. If it's a bunch though, it'll be in blue. I... I beat Doki Doki Legend oh, for like five hours. Oh, I'm letting Ness die? Here? No siree. He's dead now. Nope. We barely made it. Okay, well that, I'm gonna be more careful. I would like to apologize to my fictional party members here. Jesus Christ. 